What do you do if every time you go to the PT or you go to the chiropractor or you get some type of treatment for your back butt or sciatic problem, what do you do if it's constantly flaring you up? How do you calm things down and get back to sort of a more normal, tolerable state? Very good question. Real quick, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Charlie Johnson. I'm a physical therapist. I have my orthopedic board specialty, and I teach people all around the world with back butt and sciatic problems how to resolve their pains naturally. So if you have some type of back butt sciatic issue and you're watching this, chances are, unfortunately, I see this happen every single day, is you're probably getting some treatments that are making you feel a little yucky and or you think are helping you but are actually keeping you from healing. So what do you do if uh, right now, you know, maybe yesterday you saw the Cairo, they told you to, you know, uh, do some different motions or they did some things to you. Maybe they cracked your neck, they were stretching you, doing some stuff there, or you went to a PT or a massage therapist or insert really anybody and you're just feeling worse. It's like you go there because you're supposed to feel better, but you leave feeling flared up. What do you do? Three steps, okay, or three things to think about, all right, to calm yourself down. So first things first, calm muddy waters, all right? I think Alan Watts had a quote. He said, the best way to calm muddy waters is to leave it alone. Sometimes the best thing is to just leave things alone. So it doesn't mean be inactive. It doesn't mean lay down per se. If you really need to and you need to go that far on the avoidance spectrum, you need to really just kind of chill out, that's totally fine. But generally stay as active as you can and calm muddy waters. This means um, cut off the problem solving, Cut off trying to fight with this thing, using different exercises and stretches to try to get to, you know, uh, a position of relief. Find positions of comfort. So absolutely, uh, if you need to, uh, you know, sit in certain ways or move in certain ways. By the way, oftentimes the positions that feel most comfortable are those which you're told are bad for you, right? Or, hey, don't sit like that. Don't slouch. Don't sit sideways like that. Don't lay this way or sleep this way or whatever. Um... Throw that out the window. Find positions of comfort that work best for you um, and calm muddy waters, meaning cut out doing the different stretches and or exercises uh, and or the different treatments that they're recommending. This might mean that you might need to tell your chiropractor or your PT. I know you love them. They're a great person. You might need to tell them, hey, like I'm not going to do this anymore. This isn't working. And so we're going to take a break. We're going on hiatus. All right. If you love someone who was meant to be, they're going to come back to you. All right. But at the end of the day, kind of two things I said there, calm muddy waters, cut out the negative uh, potential inputs or stimulus there. I mean, stop doing those treatments, stop doing those stretches like they tell you. All right. The second thing, right, is find positions of comfort. Listen to your body and find things or positions um, in which feel best for your body. It doesn't matter if someone told you it's right or it's wrong. Listen to your mind. Listen to your body. All right. Um, the next thing is when you go to see this Cairo or this PT or whoever, right, that is flaring you up, are they focused on fixing you or teaching you? And the reason I say that is because if you're watching this, back butt side like a problem, who created your pain? Was it them or was it you? Well, now they're creating your pain, right? But unknowingly or knowingly, right, something started this. Maybe it was an event in your life. Maybe it was the way you moved in a certain way, whatever. Something aggravated your back butt or sciatic nerve, and that's okay. But... What this means also is that you're in a position of potential power. You are in a position where, hey, if somebody is willing to take the time to teach you how to fix yourself versus put their hands on you and try to fix you, then again, you could potentially learn how to resolve this, all right? And so if you're the one who created your pain using either usually combo mind and or body, you potentially are in the best place to fix this. I say potentially again because you need some tools and knowledge and understanding. It's probably why you're watching a video like this. But if somebody else is trying to fix you, well, unfortunately, as much as we have kind of been indoctrinated to this, hey, I'm not the doctor. I have to go to someone to fix me. Well, they can't feel what you're feeling. And so it was easy for me. Now, this is I got stuff all over the table. All right. But when I was treating people right, right here in this very treatment table inside of this clinic, I'd be cracking their neck or cracking their back. And if I couldn't see their facial expressions, they might've been wincing. They might've been saying, ow, felt uncomfortable. But again, I can't feel your pain. No matter what somebody tells you, no matter how much someone tells you they have these magic fingers or magic hands and they can tell exactly what's going on, they don't, all right? You have control of your mind and your body and you know best what you feel. I don't think there's any argument about that. So really, in a perfect world, rather than somebody fixing you, 
maybe they're doing some things they don't even know are harming you, make sure you let them know, first off. And secondly, right, um, how can you learn from them how they think about the treatments that they're doing? So this way you can best understand, all right, I see what they're trying to do, but now how can I make it comfortable for me? All right, so that. Uh, the next thing, right, is uh, send some messages of what we would call safety. Right? You've got to create a sense of safety. If you're in a current state of just fight or flight, danger mode, threat, right? Uh, and, you know, bells and whistles are going off within your nervous system, your brain and or your body um, because of something they did or uh, something, a treatment that they recommended, whatever it is, you've got to send messages of safety. This too shall pass. It's going to suck in the moment. But if you calm muddy waters, you remove those stimuli, stimuli, you, um, you know, find positions of comfort, you find positions of comfort, and you use the very fact that, hey, this is your pain, and you can probably feel better than anyone else what you're feeling. You know your pain better and your body and your mind better than anyone else. Again, I think that's fair to say. Then forget about what other people are telling you should do or you shouldn't do. Find what feels best. Stay as active as possible within that, right? To not freak yourself out and not to completely link movement and pain together. Um, and again, find someone who's willing to teach you versus fix you. Because there's always a risk that if I put my hands on you, well, I can't feel your feeling. So it's possible I could be doing some things that are just ticking you off, all right? Um, and then finally, ask yourself, are they giving me yummy inputs or yucky inputs? Yummy or yucky inputs? What do I mean by this? If, I've said this before, if you wanna feel good, probably do things that feel good, all right? If you want a yummy smoothie, probably put ingredients that feel yummy into the smoothie. If you want a yucky smoothie, probably put old moldy strawberries and other yucky things into the blender. And you're gonna have exactly what you asked for, exactly what you put in, you're gonna get out. Yucky in, yucky out. So if they're doing stretches that hurt so good, guess what? They hurt so good, they still hurt, right? And if they're multiplying that by telling you to do stretches that hurt in the moment at home, and you're thinking, well, like, hey, is it normal? Like no pain, no gain. They told me it might be a little bit flared up afterwards and then I would eventually get better. Not super logical, not really a great recommendation. In my experience, I haven't found that works very well. Okay, so at the end of the day, are they doing things that hurt so good? Or are they doing things that feel good? Are they doing things that um, allow you to feel better and to move more freely? And or are they pushing through restriction? Are you feeling tightness and they're saying, hey, work into that? If they are, yucky in, yucky out. Garbage in, garbage out. I'm guessing you don't want to feel like garbage anymore, all right? And so um, those are just some tips, right? Yummy motions only. Find things that feel safe. And here's the thing. It could be anything. If you've got stuff going on your legs, start working your arms, all right? That is absolutely uh, something you could at least get you moving in the right direction. Start to disassociate. When I move, it hurts. Or when I go to PT, it's bad. Instead, you can start to say, wow, when I move, it actually feels good. And it doesn't flare me up. How cool is that? Right, and so again, this is very common. If you're watching this, Cairo PT, I'm a PT, so sorry that other PTs maybe are having this happen, but um, we just, we, we don't learn to think very deeply about what we're doing. It's like, hey, you got a back problem? Yep, we're just gonna do nerve glides and cat cows and this and planks and all kinds of stuff. And it's not very systematic, it's not very scientific, and often we're pushing into yucky. All right, we're overwhelming people, we're throwing too many variables uh, at the wall, hoping that it sticks. And so at the end of the day, calm muddy waters, Send yourself messages of safety. Find what is comfortable. Yummy versus yucky. Yummy in, yummy out. Yucky in, yucky out. That is all I got. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the process that we use to teach people, feel free to check out my free uh, workshop where I share some tips and tricks and insights as to how you can view this a little bit differently and start to solve your problem in a way that feels good and feels safe and empowers you to do it from the comfort of your own home. Thanks.